I want to tell you very briefly the problem. We see that in Guatemala, in the past 15 years, international collaboration has given us more than more than eight million dollars, over eight million dollars, to fight poverty and to help with health and education. But we haven't had any great achievements. We are still lagging behind, and we have some of the biggest challenges. So that is the problem that we have. And we have, we're mentioning how through technology or how through mapping technology we're able to support NGOs, international collaboration, and at the same time support the government to see the problems from a different point of view. And what we did is that we came up with a practical example. I want to tell you that I support an organization in Guatemala that is called Cooperation for Education. What we do in this uh, organization, we have 40 or 50 IT centers, IT labs around the country, and we monitor and assess, we collect data about student scores, and we use that information. We have it available in Excel spreadsheets, as you can see on screen. We, this is the data that we have from these students. You can see all the learning centers divided by their levels. We know how many passed. We know how many failed their standard tests. But you can see here that it's kind of hard to interpret the data that we have on these spreadsheets. If I ask you, what do you see here? Probably we don't see much. I would ask Daniel, what do you see there? Okay. Nothing. Pero ¿qué pasa okay, so what would happen, or what happens nosotros when ponemos esa we have this information in ¿verdad? a more graphic pues manner? And if we ejemplo, give you a few pointers, acá, or if I tell you some este information, this is Guatemala, and the whole work Eric was done by Eric. Eric, Eric where are you? Well, we did it. We worked together. I provided the, the data, and, the, and Eric did the mapping. Es que but the important thing is that in a very short time, we were able to map all the notes that you were looking at, or the figures that you were looking at on the spreadsheet, in a more interesting way. What we can see here are all the learning centers distributed in the country, the ones in red, are those centers that are more successful in terms of student scores. In blue, I'm sorry, I was not really paying attention, I was testing you. The ones in blue, San Marcos, for example, if you click there, we can see, look at the scores. These are the student scores. They're very high. So we are achieving goals according to indicators. But if we click on a different one, this one, for example, we can zoom in. We see that the scores are a little lower, but it is easier this way because it's a more graphic image. We can add different variables. We have students, we have teachers, we can uh, cross-reference this data. And just to round up, the idea is how can we achieve from international cooperation, how can we get these people interested in these tools? We were mentioning something in this regard. I work for an organization. Jimmy works for uh, cooperation with Germany that has nothing to do with what I do. But we are going to put this idea forward to this organization so they can see this work and they can see what we can achieve with this tool. And then if maybe there are other opportunities from support of some of the institutions present here today, we will try to move that forward, maybe going into the ministries as well, but it will definitely depend on what we achieve after these first couple of meetings. So that is all we had to say.